This episode is dedicated to an early stage Israeli pharmaceutical company named Golden Heart Flower. The company developed a drug for a disease called APBD, which stands for Adult Polyglucosan Body Disease, a rare inherited metabolic disorder characterized by abnormal accumulation of polyglucosan bodies in cells of the nervous system and other tissues. The disease belongs to a family of glycogen storage disease and affects roughly 350 patients worldwide. The drug currently under development is a small molecule called GHF201, and it was found to have a mechanism of action enhancing lysosomal activity, hence the potential of this molecule may go far beyond APBD and should be further assessed in an array of lysosomal storage diseases. The Israeli Ministry of Health allowed the company to administer the drug to three APBD patients via a special program named Urgent Compassionate Use. As a result, the company already has accumulated five years clinical data from three patients which use the drug. During this compassionate use, the drug was shown to be both safe and efficacious. The company is currently looking to raise $10 million in order to complete CMC and toxicology and initiate the first clinical study in the US. If you're a pharma investor interested in exploring new opportunities in the rare disease space, this podcast is for you. We have been collecting medical, clinical, uh, and biomarker data on these three patients, accumulating by now more than five patients' years of data. Now, patients have reported improvements in their vitality, muscle strength, particularly in the lower limbs. One patient even reported a sensory improvement enabling her to feel cold and warm sensations in her feet, which uh, she couldn't feel uh, prior to the treatment initiation. Now, these subjective observations are supported by objective parameters and biomarkers, such as a reduced of polyglucosan levels in fibroblasts. Uh, we used to do it in punch uh, biopsy, skin punch biopsy and also um, a decrease in neurofilament light chain, which is an indicator for uh, reduction of axonal damage. Now, overall, the results, both the clinical and laboratory are promising, and they are actually demonstrating encouraging outcomes in uh, both objective and subjective measures. (laughs) 